For thousands of years, we humans have kept records. We've used pebbles, notched sticks, and knotted cords. We've preserved our stories and records on stone tablets and parchment scrolls. Many records survive to this day. The invention of the printing press resulted in a massive proliferation of written texts containing ideas that changed the world. They too still survive. In the early 20th century came automated methods to create, store, and retrieve information. Not only on paper, but in new ways, such as film and microfiche. Today, nearly all our information is created in or converted to a computerized digital format. This makes information simple to access, manipulate, share, and store. And there is no lack of storage for today's flood of information. For many purposes, digital storage capacity can be thought of as infinite. But a shadow is creeping across this era of abundant digital information. While we've invented the means to generate and store the data, we've not invented a practical method to preserve it forever. Computer-generated data degrades over time. Data can also be lost when disks and other storage devices age or become corrupted. If computer users don't back up their digital data, they risk losing it all. The devices to read data become obsolete after a few years. Could you access information stored on this paper tape from 1975? This family history on an 8-inch floppy disk? Or this floppy from 2000? Programs to decode the digital bits may no longer run. And if a company goes out of business or chooses to no longer support a program, it can be lost. Old copies may not run on newer computers. Programs use data formats that are increasingly incompatible with earlier programs. The industry's focus is on improved technology and new markets. There's little incentive to support old or obsolete systems. And the burden is not limited to preserving family mementos or work documents. Vital information for scientific research, medicine, space exploration, and government exist only in a digital realm. The best way to continue to have access to our data is to periodically convert it to new formats and new storage methods, but how can we ensure that the information will be readable 500 or even five years from now? As individuals, we must take responsibility for the data we want to preserve. As a society concerned about the preservation of knowledge, we can increase awareness, raise our voices, and encourage the computer industry and the government to develop practical solutions. If we fail to preserve our data and our access to it, we will break the chain of information transmitted from generation to generation. Instead of priceless information about our culture and vital knowledge from a century of unprecedented invention, We'll leave a legacy of broken machines, mute artifacts, and mysteries about the past. This remarkable era will become for future generations a dark age. <laughs>